I'm back, y'all. Let me see this. Some of y'all got a one-way ticket to hell. Sure. Some of y'all got a one-way ticket to hell. Don't do that, M. It's early as hell. It's like 9 o'clock. Stop it, girl. And I didn't do anything today. I went to work for like a couple hours. I took a long ass nap. I literally did nothing today and I got the nerve to yawn. You know how old people... <sighs> old people get so mad when um young people say they're tired or, and shit. Like, that's how I feel. That's me talking to myself when I yawn. Like, fuck is you yawning for? Fuck is you? Anyway, y'all. <gasps> Not the first card I see. It's the tower card. Listen, y'all. I told y'all, y'all on a one, y'all got a one way ticket to hell. Something about to blow up in y'all face. Y'all gambling with y'all life right now. Highway to hell. Okay, so I just shuffled and the tower card came out again. Somebody's pregnant, y'all. Somebody's pregnant and they don't know who their daddy is. They look into the ethers for answers. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. You keep that baby, that's on you. Like, literally. I don't want it to be on you, but that's on you. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. When I said that about the pregnancy, somebody might be pregnant, I was thinking Empress in my head. I promise you I was. But you know why I was thinking that? Because in my other deck that I start messing in, their, their empress card the girl is pregnant with the world as her stomach that's crazy so i instantly thought of that card when i said someone's pregnant and then the empress comes out in this deck but this she looked like mary she looked like mary on this deck um so like 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 i said the other illustration of the card that baby's gonna have to be a world because you're not gonna have no help Listen, I don't want to say it, but babies are blessing, but sometimes the abortion is the bigger blessing. Ooh. Who said that? Thank God for them. I'm telling you. Oh, thank God for them. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. All right, so I'm really just talking shit. I'm not, but ten of, ten of coins. What I tell y'all, y'all going to be motherfucking struggling. Yo, and you already got kids? That's... I mean, you can do it. But you're gonna be struggling. Like, they got cuts and bruises. They in the wilderness. They wearing scraps. Like, it's a struggle. Spirit guides. Is this person gonna make it in the end? Like, with the no help thing. Is this person gonna... Fuck no death card it's like no that's not what that means clarify the death card for me though nope he already did ten of swords it's really gonna be a struggle what is the outcome spirit guides yeah i mean look you're a powerful woman so although it is gonna like listen although it is gonna be hard you're gonna make it through you're powerful. Knight of Corns. Knight of Coins. I said Knight of Corns. <laughs> That's how my grandma talk. <laughs> um, so look, you're going to be focused. But even though you're focused, don't mean it's going to be easy. <sighs> so if you ask me, I'm going to tell you get an abortion. That's me. That ain't the spirit, guys. That's me. Friend to friend, peer to peer. Get, get, take that ride, bro. <laughs> take that ride, bro. <laughs> like, who would want to do that alone? I'm, I'm talking from experience. Like, I'm talking from motherfucking experience. What else is 
going on, Spirit Guides, because that got uncomfortable real quick. <laughs> now they're looking at me like I'm crazy and like I had 18 abortions. No, I'm just... I'm just saying. Pick yourself back. I don't know what you're going through, but pick yourself back up. Can't stay down for too long. Muff because it's watching you. Muff because it's praying that you're down. Pick yourself back up. The spirit world, something, yo. Spirit world, it can get dangerous. It's probably devil energy. You know that card always comes out in my reading, so. He's cheating card. That's probably why. Okay. But, yeah. It's the time to heal. Pick yourself back up, like I said. I thought my daughter's about to come in. I hear her running. Um, there also could be within a, um about a friendship. Um, a friend, <clears throat> a friend could have been talking to one of your enemies, and you're like, "What the fuck is going on? Like, you supposed to have my back? Like, why are you talking to them? You, you were, you're not feeling it." Pick yourself back up. Don't stay down for too long. Make some new motherfucking friends. Life is too short. Like, come on, bruh. That candle smells so good. Not the hermit. What I tell you? Somebody is being sneaky. Sneaky as hell, too. Behind your back. Leave. Six of, six of swords. Pick yourself back up and get out. Like, just leave it alone. Like, Leave it alone. Seven of Swords. Six of Swords and Seven of Swords. Yeah, honey. Not one, two, three, four. This might be the fifth time a motherfucker tried you. And you still try considering to take him back. I'll take him back. I just won't play him too close. Leave it alone. Two, four, six, eight, ten. What the fuck did I just add up? That math is wrong. Don't mind me, y'all. Um. Anyway, nine of swords. Let's clarify nine of swords with my cards because this could mean a couple things. Spirit guys, clarify nine of swords for me. Clarify Nine of Swords. So I got put it behind you and take a vacation. You can be going through family drama right now. You see how she looks like she's just trying to uh, look to the ethers for answers. She's ready to just focus on herself. Take a vacation, put it behind you, self-explanatory. Like, do I really have to go into detail? I don't think so. Um, what else is going on here, guys? I'm channeling that somebody is, like, praying for a ring. And we're not even talking seven of cups. We're not even talking about a marriage. Like, somebody just wants a fucking promise ring. You're childish for that. You need to put your, pick up your standards. Like, we're past the promise rings. You're, you're doing anything to feel... Period. That's good. That's good. You're doing anything to just feel like you're sleepwalking through life. You're fucking bored with life. Like, what do you need... So you, you're thinking that marriage is too big of a commitment or he doesn't love me that much. So I'll just take a promise ring. Mm -mm. Somebody needs to figure out what the fuck is going on with their childhood trauma and King of Wands. Oh, I want my other cards. Don't want my boyfriend, y'all. Oh, I got my Moonology cards. That can smells. Ow, I thought and something fell free for it. I got caught a little wind in there. I thought my robe opened up. I was going to... I mean, I could cut it out, but... It's just... It's the principle. 
I'm an Indies and Ancestors. Talk to me through these cards. Let me give a great message to the collective because we need to know what's going on with the earth, on this earth. And we trust you to give it to us. Use me as a vessel, Lord. It's like... I don't need something new to watch on Netflix. I think I'm gonna watch Twilight series again. Surrender to the divine? Give in? Hmm. It's giving, you're forcing something. You're forcing a situation. I'm tired of telling y'all. I'm tired of telling y'all, stop forcing that situation, that boy, that, that situation shit. Stop forcing it because it's not a relationship. He's literally treating you like he don't want it. Like, oh my gosh, does he have to give you any? Uh, how much clearer can the signs be? You have, don't be too hard on them. And, um, but yeah, surrender to the divine, to yourself. Have more respect for yourself. Be careful and study them. Some of y'all are just oblivious. Some of y'all really don't know. Damn, that's a shame. Be careful. Study them. Okay, because some of y'all are pushing 30. And still can't tell if a nigga like you or not. You asking your friends, um, do you think he likes me? But what do you think? Like, what? <laughs> you down and out. It's it, you going out bad, bad. They going back to their coworkers and saying, talking about you. Like, mm -mm. let's pull another one. Luck is on your side. Hmm. <laughs> Luck is on your side, but they ain't talking about that damn relationship. Maybe maybe career-wise, but better. You're powerful. Luck is on your side. You're powerful. Okay, spirit guys. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm poor tarot. Luck is on your side and you're powerful. What's going on? What's going on, spirit guys? Why why are you saying we're powerful? The moon tapped in focus in nature. What's going on? You just came out of something really dark. That's what it's given. You, get, you just came out of something really dark and you smashed that motherfucker. Listen, it, it, it might creep back up on you, but you're going to handle it way better. Okay, talk to me, the magician. Luck is on your side and you're powerful. And then the magician card, it's, look, it's looking up for you in that aspect. As for that Negro role... That's in your life? Mm -mm. It's uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's ask the spirit guides. Okay, so everything else is looking good in our lives, but can you clarify our the relationship status? Like how's that going for the collective? Like I don't want to feel like it's coming from me, so prove it to them. Temperance. Temperance cord? Let's clarify temperance. Queen of Swords, you got to be strong through that. Get a good look. Queen of Swords. The light is so bright, you kind of can't see it. Queen of Swords, temperance card. Hermit. Hermit is giving hiding and sneaky. But you're a strong woman. It's just when it comes to this, like literally you're a strong woman. But when it comes to that relationship, you're doing everything alone. 
You gotta have 18 months of hands for that nigga because he ain't doing nothing. Niggas lazy. They expect you to do everything in the relationship. You are, you are carrying that relationship on your motherfucking back. What? Yeah. Yeah. They're carrying that relationship on their motherfucking back. You heard me. Niggas is, and because niggas is sneaky. Um. All right, what else do we want to know? All right, let's get into it. Four of Wands. We got four of Wands. Two cards collective. I meant Spirit Guides. It's four to collective. We just don't have any luck when it comes to love. Goddamn. High Priestess, though. Listen, 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 listen. You are a strong motherfucker. You is a strong motherfucker. And you done been through some shit. You got your guard up. And even with your guard up, you still getting fucked over. With the Nine of Wands. Because I got the High Priestess. Like, come on. Like, you're a strong woman. Pull my cards. You know what, y'all? Start start writing down what y'all doing for the new year. Not what y'all doing for the new year, but you know what I mean. Start writing down your goals for to to come into the new year. I'm dead serious. Uh uh, no, you didn't. I'm currently in a video. He's cheating. You know it. Fuck this. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. That's gay. Oh, that means he, he doesn't deserve, deserve it. Mm -hmm. You? Mm -hmm. Meaning that he, he don't deserve you. it. No, that means he too good for you. Part of interruption. We're going through a lot right now, man. Special With appearance. Kids, <laughs> me, life, liquor. Death. Death. Let me see these cards. Let me see if I can shuffle something and what's going to come out of this joint. Let me just, you feel me? Time to heal. All right. That might be my card for real, for real. Check it, it out. Ones. Wait. These ones? Oh. You must have just won a game. Yo, that's crazy. Gambling. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that is crazy. Because I just got done gambling, all right? <laughs> but I don't believe in this. <laughs> that's. Me. I don't believe in it. That's why I don't even pay you too much mind when you win my cards. Yeah, no, it's set in stone yet. It's not. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> or she can't write. Whatever. Dang. Spirit guides, give him a card for us, about us, to clarify this, our relationship. This ain't about us. Not bro. take cards. a break. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can do better. Ooh. Not do it, take a break. And then you know you can do better. This is death. I can. These spirit guides really talking to me. It's like, nah. He was talking to me. I don't believe in that. <laughs> What's that one say? At this point, I'm just throwing them. Leave. All right, it's bad. It's getting bad. Let me get up out of here. Hopefully, it's talking about the room and not the relationship. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Yeah, I got to get back to my collective. Yeah, I got to get back to my collective. Oh, no, it's just a little edge control. Hmm? Yeah. It's just a little bit of build up. Come on, I'm gonna watch that movie older. All you gonna do is go to sleep. Anyway. I don't like that. You in my business. No, I'm off tomorrow. I'm up. Anyway, he tries to be supportive, but it's giving cringy. Psycho. Okay, obsessed. Obsessed with you. Focus on your kids. So he's obsessed with you. You're focusing on your kids because you're trying to go harder for them to better their future. Okay, okay, okay. And let's pull a tarot. Actually, no, I'm going to pull Moonology. 
<laughs> not that I call these moonology. It's because they moon core. Well, that's literally what they call them. They're. Get the glitter. Spirit guides. Just keep talking to me. Emotions are running high. This picture is so. Conclusions are within reach. This picture, I would love to draw that. I might just. Conclusions are within reach. I always tell y'all, if y'all just tap in, meditate, the answers are already, like, literally within. It's giving sloppy. Um, get it together. So, yeah, guys. Focus on your kids. Focus on your kids. Focus on them kids. Okay? Because this is literally going to set the tone. For their childhood sets the tone for their future. And let me tell y'all. It's real. You know what's crazy? We didn't get a devil card this this reading. We didn't get a devil card. That's love. What I say? Focus on them kids. Focus on them kids. Focus on them kids. Two of wands. Not that you were trying to choose between two niggas. You had to choose them motherfucking kids. And king of wands. Okay. Chad, you burning up trying to get your answer. Trying to figure it out. You is burning up trying to figure it out. Anyway, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is my longest video. 22 minutes. Damn. Okay. And I see you. You working out here on these YouTube streets. All right, y'all. So, there you have it. Um, I'll catch you on the next video.